Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like good food. It's the place to be. Come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are having some Dungeness crab. <laughs> I have some rice, I have some dungeon, I have three whole body dungeness crabs. I have smackalicious sauce, I have lemon limes, I have green onions, and uh, for to drink I have some almond, sparkling almond. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So we're gonna jump in and get started. I'm gonna start with this one so I can move it so y'all can see. <laughs> Bet y'all say, oh. Start with the little legs back here. So I hope you all are doing well. I am doing well. Mm. Move him a little bit up here in the front. Mm. Oh, that is good. Put some, I know y'all can't see this rice, but it's right here. And I got some green onions. So yeah, like I said, oh, that's so good. If y'all haven't tried jasmine rice with the green onion, it is delicious. Seriously. I'm trying to hurry up so they won't be looking at y'all like this. <laughs> Some people don't like when they look like staring at them. They don't bother me. Mm. Oh, that's so good. That is really delicious. And if y'all haven't tried the whole body dungeon this, you gotta try it. It's so juicy. I was trying to let y'all see, but I don't wanna put break too many over the sauce. Cause the shell is going up. I know y'all can probably still hear that lawnmower. Don't worry about it, child. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. Oh, that, that's better. A little bit. Mmm. I gotta get all this out of here now. There we go. I wish I could let y'all taste it. Mm, mm, mm. I know y'all like that rice gonna make you full. It is, but it's so good. If you haven't had the, the smackalicious with the rice, you gotta try that too. And I, I want to do the um, what's it called? With this can be did it. Oh, the shrimp, cucumber, sausage and rice. I'm gonna do that too. I just gotta find some big juicy shrimp. Mmm. God, oh, y'all, that's good. I see it. Probably not. It's good though. 
Mm. Uh oh. Delish. <clears throat> working on it y'all so anyway i hope you guys are doing well i am doing well i don't know when this is gonna come out but whatever day it is it was a chill day for me mm. and i got these dungeness crab from costco it was two for 21 So I got um two packs. Two come in a pack. And I was gonna cook four of them, but I was like, can you really eat four? The most I've eaten is three. I'm lying, I'm lying. The most I've eaten is two on the channel. I've never eaten three whole body. So if I finish it, this will be the first time. And if I stop eating the rice. I'll probably finish. It's so good though. <clears throat> Just the combination with the Dungeness crab, the rice, the sauce. Tastes so good. Oh, and I don't know if this video is going to come out before or after, but I did the, the no sauce challenge because I, I got several requests. Um to do the no sauce challenge. So I already recorded that one, so I don't know if it's gonna come out before this one or after. But it wasn't like a hard thing for me. All the sauces taste good. So, I don't know, but it wasn't really a challenge for me. I just ate the crab. I'm going to eat the body separate, y'all. I know y'all can't even see down there. Mm, mm, mm. I should have had this rice in the front so y'all could see it. I mean, probably don't even want to see it. Mm. I love seafood. <laughs> Just in case you was wondering. Mm -mm -mm. Sip. Oh, that almond is so good. All right. Should I eat the body now or just eat the other two legs? Okay, I'm going to sit the body right here, but I won't forget about it. I'm going to just go ahead and get this one. <clears throat> Ooh, he juicy. Juicy. Charlie got Halloween stuff everywhere. They are ready. Do y'all dress up for Halloween? Do you decorate your house and stuff like people do? We just buy candy. We don't do all that. I think it's fun to see like adults dress up and go like the costume parties and stuff. Try not to break this over my sauce, y'all. Because the little shells be getting in it. But yeah, it looks so fun, like, to go to Halloween parties, dress up, have fun, dance, drink a little mixed drinks for adults, 21 and over. But yeah, that's, that seemed like it would be so much fun. I'm going to go one year to a Halloween party. 
I'm dressed up. I like to see people have fun like that. I just don't want to host a party because I'd be so afraid. Like, I just want to make sure everybody having a good time. That's, that's the anxiety I have. That's why I don't throw parties. Because I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable and not have fun. And I'd be too worried. Because, you know, Mm. Ah, that was good. Hold on, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. You got to get your dungeness. Get you some jasmine rice and some smackalicious sauce, okay? <clears throat> I'm not exaggerating, y'all. Mm. Um, what I was about to say. Do y'all watch like scary movies and stuff around Halloween time? Not me. Mm -mm. Nah. I like when you go to neighborhoods and the whole neighborhood participates and like decorate and everybody is outside at the same time. And people, one time it was a person that did a casket in front of their house. And then when you walk up to it, the little thing, he would push the the thing to make the body sit straight up. Shine. Oh, and haunted houses. Mm. Child, the first time I went to um Halloween Horror Night. Baby, I had them scratched and pinched up kid arms so bad, <laughs> but it was so much fun. I'm just got a haunted house, but they fun, you know. Oh my goodness, they so much fun. I don't know why it's fun to be scared, but I had a great time. I had a great time. But yeah, Universal Studios. If you live in Orlando, I know you probably already. If you do like Halloween, but Universal Studios that um, what's it called? Hollywood? Yeah, Hall um, Horror Nights. Halloween Horror Nights. That is fun to me. And of course, Disney have their little thing called Not So Scary. And you get a lot of candy. You hear me? Oh my gosh. You get a lot of candy. But it's fun and it's not scary. And it's like there are no lines. That's like the best time to go to Disney. I know we're probably not going this year. But probably next year. Mm. We'll go. Because that's the best time to go. I hate waiting in line for anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this the body ate our legs. You sure? Here it is. I got it. No meat left behind. Try to break it up here. All that juice coming out. But yeah. I ain't watching no scary movies. I think, oh, was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the neighborhood. All the neighbors would participate. And one time a man had a casket in his yard. And when you walk up, he would, you know, make the body flex and sit up. I thought it was so much fun. And some of the neighbors would, like, dress up. This was way back in the day. People don't participate in stuff like that no more. But yeah, that seems so much fun. 
Oh, and then, oh, let me tell y'all one time. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all a little story time, okay? So one time, I think it was around, was it midterms or final? I don't know. We were studying for a test, me and April, right? Studying for a test. So we went to the library, right? I don't know why I thought about this spooky, spooky story. We went to the library and we drove my car. It was daylight when we went. I'm going to put the body over here and then I'm going to eat it, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to just eat the legs up real quick. They going fast, though. Maybe I should have put four up here. Maybe I should have did a challenge. How many whole body can you eat? Well, anyway, y'all, let me tell you this story. So, we went to the library, right? And me and April, it was daylight. So, just say it was in the evening, maybe like 3 o'clock. But we didn't leave until the library closed, right? So, anyway, when we went to the library, this uh, security guard, we saw the security guard when we walked in. He was real cool or whatever. He was like, hey, ladies, how you doing today? And like, we was fine. He was like, oh, okay. Uh... Time to study. Make a small talk. I ain't think nothing of it. He seemed real nice. Hold on. I get a little chit chat, whatever. Hey, how you doing? All right. I know that's right. Yeah, hard. Studying hard. You know, look, you know, small talk. So. We studied until the library closed. We get back to the car. And she was like, um, you got the keys? I was like, no, you ain't got them? And I was like, she was like, uh, so I'm digging in my book bag. She digging in her book bag. We look in the car. The keys are in the middle. You know where you have like a little middle console thing? Just sitting there. I was like, oh my God, we locked ourselves out the car. It's pitch black now, right? Ain't nobody out there but me and April. Everybody gone. Because by this time, we when we digging in our bags and stuff, people are leaving the library or whatever. And I don't know if I had AAA at that time. I mean, I got it now, but I don't know if I had it then. So... We both standing there like, who we gonna call? Cause we got finals or tests or whatever in the morning. I can't remember if it was finals, midterms. I don't know y'all. I don't wanna lie on that part. So, we can't leave the car cause we gotta be to school in the morning. Be the class. So we trying to think who we can call that can maybe can break in the car. So the security guard comes back. Mind you, it's dark outside, right? We the only people out there. Only car out there. And just me and her. So now, you know, we, now we, we're not really thinking of, we're thinking of who can we pick up the phone and call to come get us or help us, right? Some, a guy or whoever. Security guard pops back up. I promise you it feel like that man came out of nowhere, right? But he was like, y'all need help? And just the way he was looking, and now I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> it could have been us, but we kind of felt the spirit um, at the same time. So you know how you look at each other, and you kind of like, you know, we you think we good? And he was like, I can help y'all. And he wasn't, he wasn't being scary. He wasn't being flirtatious at this time or anything. He was just like, you know, it seemed like, I don't know. He was just like, I can help y'all. He was like, y'all follow me. Not thinking. We both follow him, right? You know how you watch scary movies and you be like, y'all so dumb. Don't go with him. <laughs> if I was watching us, that's what I would have been screaming the whole time. 
Don't go with him. Don't go with him. You don't know that man. Ain't nobody out there to help y'all. So we follow the man. He said he had to go get some tools or something in the, in the back. We follow him. We go inside the like a, a side door to the library. It was a big building. So we go to the side door or whatever to the library, right? And it's like this long, cold hallway. I'll never forget this. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. It was a long, cold, bright looking hallway. So he's like, come on. We still following the man. <laughs> and that's why in the scary movies, I never call nobody stupid. Cause you know, I done done some stupid stuff. So we looking at each other, but still walking. Now, neither one of us has said, I think we should turn around, right? So I'm looking at her, she's looking at me. We still following the man. We turn this corner, we turn that corner, and we finally get to this door. And he opens this door and he's like, come on, come in here with me. And I'm like, oh shoot, you know, what What do I do now? Cause I, honestly, I don't even know how to get out of here. So if I start screaming and acting a fool, where am I gonna go? And who gonna hear me? Cause ain't nobody outside. So he opens the door and it's like, I kid you not, I wanna say six or seven men sitting inside this room. All I could think was, we are dead. <laughs> we done. It's over. We are dumb. And I think we felt it at the same time. Our spirits must have aligned and been like, okay, both of y'all stupid, right? So, we get in this room. The six men are sitting in there talking. When we walk in, they looking at us. We looking at them. They looking at him. And we looking at, still looking at them. And then we looking at each other. So everybody doing this. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what, what, what is really going on? We thinking, we just walked in the room with six men. What, how can we defend ourselves, right? If something pop off now, the average woman is just going to be scared. This, now this might've been the long two, longest two minutes of our life. So he say, uh, so they looking at, I think they were looking at him like, Hey bro, what you got going on? Well, first of all, why you got them in here? You know what I mean? Like I don't want no pause in whatever you got going on. And he looking at them like, you know, what is y'all problem? So finally somebody said something. He does. He said, Mark, I don't know what the man name. I'ma just say Mark. Mark, they locked themselves out in the car, the keys in the car. So the dudes were like relieved, right? <laughs> they like, oh God, thank you. I ain't know what you had going on back here. <laughs> he said, we don't want no bars of that. So he was like, yeah, 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 we'll help y'all, we'll help y'all. Um, just their laughter and stuff just made us feel at ease. Because they like, listen, they aren't supposed to be back here. If something happened to these girls, we don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> but at the time, when you come to your senses, you're, you're afraid. But hey, they didn't they weren't gonna bother us and, and we weren't gonna bother them. And he was looking like, what was you thinking? And they was like, I mean, shoot, at this point, I don't know, bro. You walk in here with two girls. It's it's employees only. The only security guards here are men. So we didn't know what you had going on. <laughs> and he was like, Y'all some of the stupidest, you know, they joking around or whatever. But yeah. This is the reason I don't be like, 
why would you go back there with the guys? So, after we was driving home, oh, by the way, they opened the door. And they was like, y'all get home safely. Be careful out there. And all this kind of stuff. So, after we, after we get in the car, me and April think to ourselves, why didn't we just stay with the car? Why did we follow him back there in that in that place in the building? And I was saying to myself, you know, I don't know. But then he was thinking, let me bring these girls with me so nobody won't bother them. Because you never know who's walking the streets this time of night. I see two girls just out there. Book bag, look like they stranded. So that's his, that's the way he was thinking. Because he was like, I ain't gonna try to stay out here, you know, by yourselves. Ain't nobody out here. It's dark out here. Because you know, if the library is closed, they turn the lights off. Uh oh. In the parking lot or whatever. And he was like, I ain't want y'all out there by yourself. So, yeah. That was so spooky and scary. The hall was so quiet and long. And you can hear our footsteps. And I forgot what street the library was on. But I want to say it was more than one thing in that building. So the library had like the side door in the building but it was other buildings like on top you know what i'm saying so they had more than one security guard yeah but that was that was some scary stuff y'all that was some scary stuff oh that looked good let me take this off though but i i, I don't i'd never tell people like why did you can't go in the building you so stupid you so <laughs> You're not thinking. This is only written in the movies. That's a lie. We do stupid stuff every day. Man, that look good. Mm. I wonder if she remembers that. I got to call and ask her. So that's why I be so afraid for Kiana and <clears throat> my kids. Because I be like, y'all got to think. You know, call me. I don't care what it, what time it is, what's happening. Please call me. But yeah. Y'all just don't understand. <laughs> you do silly stuff. Even as adults, you don't think things through until it's like over. But we were just blessed that he was just there to help us. It never even really crossed his mind. <laughs> to join it, oh, that was good. You heard you talk dog. The ginger. And he looking at them crazy like, y'all have lost y'all mind. They're looking at him like, well, you got two girls with you. <laughs> In the middle, of, well, at night. The library is closed. I don't know. That was that was crazy though. That was one of the spookiest things we did. Straight crazy. But thank goodness they were all good. You know, really nice people. Cause it could have went left at any time. Real quick. Speaking of that, hold on. See how the shell fell in the rice? I just choked. Mm. I was watching um a tech, what is it, tech channel? Uh, an Instagram clip on technology. Did y'all know? That they have a thing, almost like a roller skate for the tire, like if your tire got flat. 
and you can actually roll your car up on it and you can drive it like 25 miles per hour to get to wherever you was going that is really good because if you at if you're out on a highway at night nobody really wants to wait for a tow truck because it's spooky out there so that would work really well But yeah, so I don't know if y'all seen that. Oh, and another thing, you know how they got this whole thing about people sliding in your car while you pumping the gas? But yeah, while you pumping gas, people steal your purse out your car or steal your car. I just seen it on another lady. It happened to another lady, I think in Atlanta. Or somewhere, don't get me the line. But it, apparently it happens a lot. Now they have a company that comes to your house and fill your car up. <clears throat> that is really convenient. That is really convenient. Mm. And you ain't gotta worry, cause especially if you have like teenage daughters or whatever sons or something like that. And you don't want them late at night. His mom, mom said never go to the gas station at night. I mean, when I was a teen. I'm going to tell my kids the same thing. But it happens in broad daylight. So, I know that the service might cost a little bit more. But your child's safety means more. Y'all think we got time to eat the bodies? This almond is good. Look at my mouth. Look at Big Greasy. Sorry, y'all. Almond. Got you feeling right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that was a little story time and a little did you know. I don't think I talked about that rice and that's uh -huh. I'm gonna tell y'all something. That's my collision with that rice and green onion. I know I shouldn't have ate all that rice, but oh well. And I just have my bodies left. My body's corn though. Oh, and I was supposed to try the the smack delicious in the water. I'm so scared to try it. I know I'm gonna mess up. I ain't y'all know I ain't got but this much left. <laughs> mm. Y'all know I ain't got a little bit left. I got it from Sharika. Now if that thing tastes good, that's about to change the game. But I'ma try it. Well, shout out to Sharika B. If that thing work. Or even if it don't work. She's a cook. I just keep practicing when I get another bag. Till I get it right. Cause we. Y'all know June, July 2020. Is Makini season. <laughs> it's Makini season. We got to get in the Makinis. So we got to cut back on the bottom. Not just that, we gotta stay healthy, y'all. I'm just playing. Well, I know y'all in the comments, like, it ain't the only reason. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, so I might have to eat the bodies off camera. That's my collection and corn. Mmm. Baby. Mmm. So again, <clears throat> I don't know if the no sauce challenge is going to come out before this or after. 
but I definitely did it and I'm definitely gonna eat my bodies I really want to eat one body now cuz I ain't full or nothing it's so good I wish I had some more rice okay let's wrap this up and I can eat this later oh you know what I can do with the meat of the body don't worry about it I got it <clears throat> I got it you'll see the body meat I got it all right all right, I'm gonna close up. <laughs> okay, all um, man. Much love, peace, and blessings. Wipe your mouth. Wipe your chin and your mouth. I'm sick of you. Corn in my teeth. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. When I say that was the bomb, welcome to the after party. That was delicious. I kid you not, y'all. I enjoyed that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, like I said, I don't know what day this is coming out. But I hope y'all are having a great day. I am having a really good day. Not because of the almond, sparkling almond. Oh, and we got that from Cooper's Heart. And somebody else asked me a question. I don't know.